Hello crafty friends. Hello there. Welcome back to the Crafty Seas. Today we're on to share a magazine haul. We bought two magazines. They are got Christmas themed items in them as well. But as the reason we were excited, Halloween papers inside. And this one says 126 Halloween project pack. So super excited because Two of our favourite things to craft are Christmas and Halloween. So let's get opening them to find out what we get. So the first one we'll start with. So this was 9 99 and it comes with a mega card kit inside that they're saying is worth £70. Ooh! There's a really, really strong bit of package in there. Scissors needed for this one. Okay. So this is their 70 plus piece Christmas card making kit. The kit includes papers, die cut pieces, card blanks, gems and bows. So we've already made some Christmas cards this year. But we will try to use this set as well and make some more Christmas cards. Open it up and give you a quick look at some of the papers and goodies inside. That's your home. So, tiny bows. Lovely red tiny bows, perfect for putting on the cards. A small packet of silver, are they silver and clear jammies? Silver jammies and then some. Holly, is it single sided? Oh, double-sided paper. Double-sided paper. Oh, holly and berries. And these are top little toppers. And they're already die cut out, so you just have to push them out, which is even better. And we recently bought some foam pads that you can use to add dimension behind these onto the card front, so that would be perfect. Oh, these are sweet. Lovely papers. They're, they are relatively thin, the papers. They're not... A heavy, I would say they're definitely for matte and layering, I suppose. Copier weight. Oh, look, they've size. actually included tiny cards. Didn't realize that would be in them. So it gives you a big start, doesn't it? Oh, yes. It's you know, you could make a card today with these without really any other supplies. Some sweet, very small but sweet cards. Five or six of those little cards, but that's nice. Cards and tags or decorate a Christmas bag. Doesn't come with any envelopes, so you would have to create your own envelope for the card pack, which is unusual. The card packs do normally come with an envelope. So that was your card pack that came with it. Then they have a 45-piece essential stamp sets from rare earth and it's generic acrylic stamps but they have I uh, would say a couple of extra words here or there that makes them more more likeable in that they personalise them for your special day nice work congratulations you passed uh, about time things like that that are not as and I like this little one, Joy on Your Birthday, because sometimes when you make a card, it's nice to put something inside as well, just a little sentiment or saying. Because it is, the card is really to deliver the message or what you want to say to the person, isn't it, really? So it's nice as well to have wishing you a happy birthday just to put inside. And they're quite small stamps. Today is your special day, which is nice. You're getting married. And I must say that the, the stamp sets that we have got with magazines have always stamped really really well and clear so we do enjoy using the stamp sets and that can get added into our big folder yep our stamp folder and this is the magazine itself it's crafts beautiful i'm really interested to see if there's any how what what their halloween projects it said, are uh, inspiring women the wi so it's got other reads in it as well as crafting now I'm going to flick through because I am excited. So it shows you what inspiration from fellow crafters that have used the pack. So that's the kind of makes that you can. If you were looking for ideas, 
how to include them in tags and boxes etc oh super here we go stop the press we recently made lots of pumpkins ourselves fabric pumpkins now that's something we are a fan of making if you look back on our channel you'll see we've done a pumpkin walk in the garden which displayed a lot of the pumpkins we've made over From the years. teeny weeny whiny ones to huge and humongous ones uh, made of velvet and different fabrics, knitted etc. And we also have a tutorial video on our channel showing you how to make your own. And they're all plush. Competitions if, if that rocks your boat. You can write in and send Beautiful in your pets. makes. I do know um, Shiny Silver Treasures has had a few of her makes featured in magazines as well as Congratulations Ashley Thompson also from Paper and Twine is featured in the magazines as well So I'm just going to give a quick flick through the magazine Don't want to spoil it in case anyone wants to treat themselves Stuart Hillard sewing and knitting if you're interested in It's all different, you know, it's this magazine's a little bit more varied than some of the crafters magazines. If you're a reader, it's a bit about read, the reading club as well, the book club. So, yeah, it's, it's not, a good read. Not just card making. There are other makes we, and we topics. Do, we do like to buy them because we have to attend hospital quite a lot. And either during treatment or in the wait, it, it wells away the hours. Definitely. It keeps you distracted thinking about the projects you could make rather than That's the treatment it. you're about to undergo. Mm -hmm. And as I said, if you're a sewer or a knitter, there's lots of different projects and inspiration 3D makes as well. Um, I'm trying to skip past quickly because I really want to see the Halloween. Oh, here we go. Trick or treat. Pumpkin treat box. Here it is. So there's a make there to make a pumpkin treat box. A skull garland. Nice bunting, yeah. Ghosts. Ghost Some twirlers hanging. Hanging ghosts. Owls. Owls in the moonlight. Oh, they're advertising duct tape. I am a fan of duct tape. I've used it in some of my creations in the past. I made a upcycled journal using Amazon packaging and I used black duct, duct tape to help secure that. So don't be afraid to, you know, have a look in your shed, your DIY box and incorporate anything into your crafting. What's this? A carving. A pumpkin. Const that the constellation. Lovely. Very different. It's showing you what you can get in future, future magazines. Oh, well, unfortunately, I'm <laughs> not very good at knitting or crocheting, but that's so cute. Is that on your wish list? <laughs> that's on my wish list. My mother-in-law is a very good knitter and crocheter so she may be getting that as an inspiration photo mm -hmm. to keep my head warm this trick halloween or season <laughs> trick or treating you're well, never you too old <laughs> so great so if you are a knitter lovely i think um, ideas shared to you ashley thompson paper and twine makes a lovely witch oh she does knitted witch it's absolutely With stunning yes. she gifted one to jessica marvel for her halloween giveaway last year so pop over and check those channels out. They're great. Jack-o'-lanterns, wheelbarrows, cookies. So as I said, it's not just paper craft. This magazine, so whatever, whatever the Craft Beautiful magazine. Your it's, hobby is as well, or or your friends' hobbies are. It's good some, to incorporate all of them, isn't it? Baking, cake decorating, and I think once you get into craft, sometimes you would. You're inspired to try lots of different crafts and I'm quite sure some of you out there are multi-talented that you knit, sew, bake, card make, paper craft, etc. So here's some more autumn themed jumper, warm jumper. Cozy times are coming. Is this quilling? No. I'm not sure, I'll have to have a little How do you remove it. the coil off the end of the quilling tool without unravelling? So, hints and tips. I really enjoyed quilling. We took part in Pink Bubble Cards Alphabet Challenge in one of the weeks it was Q for quilling and we made some lovely quilled peacock themed cards we and did. I really enjoyed it. So I never thought of quilling an autumn leaf so that's something that I may, may give a try. It's great for using your sort of long snippets of paper as well. 
if you have any you know scraps that you've straightened mm -hmm. up off the edge and you don't always need the tools look you can do it with your tweezers hello craig craig from crafters companion as you may know from Get watching well our soon. channel he's, he's recuperating from surgery so we are a massive fan of crafter companion and we watch a lot of the tv program and their youtube their makes their makes it's mm -hmm. a, a great form of inspiration oh, and, and tutorials. The voting, the voting is open for uh, the Craft Awards 22, 2022. So if you're a fan like us, of get Craig voting. Laird, get voting, yep. <laughs> it's a fellow Scot as well. So loads of inspiration in the magazine for all different crafting. Oh, we actually bought something similar, a patchwork tree that we got from a charity shop recently so we may actually attempt to make something like this I with love some nine patch it's just uh as my health deteriorating i can't sew as much but i really think they're they keep for a long long time and it's really lovely if you can incorporate either a loved one's shirt t-shirt or whatever into it and then you can keep it forever it's really sweet nice way to keep grandchildren or children's outfits forever and a tree skirt make your own tree skirt to fit in with your decoration oh my goodness i'm in love <laughs> that's crochet that is so super cute a frankenstein's monster crocheted oh love it mm. absolutely be, love it you'll be mother my mother-in-law mother will be getting yes of course <laughs> we'll be getting what mother-in-law's for yes and a dog bed that's a nice make as well a dog oh, blanket. We, we have two, two far babies. Two far babies who adore their comfort. Mm. If I'm brave enough, I might show you some of the the thematic jumpers that I've knitted for them in very basic stitching. They have a Halloween one, Christmas one, and really they're such adorable boys, they love to wear them. Yes. The, this is an interesting technique with the stitching as well. Something a little bit different. Garland making. And the instructions your... are detailed. Yeah, so you know you can follow along and sometimes they have little videos as well on their website. And here's some templates for you to make the makes that they showed you previously. I think you could manage to do your own ghost shape and skull shape, but if you were struggling, they do have the templates available there. And tracing a bit of tracing paper and a carbon pencil on the back and it, it gives you an outline. And this is the second magazine that we purchased. Again this did stay on it that it had a 31 piece Halloween paper pack. That's what we were interested in. And it came with a lovely excuse me, I wrestle the package in here. Oh big it's muscles. <laughs> So that's Paper Crafter Magazine. This one was slightly more expensive at eleven ninety nine. You can subscribe to them and it works out a bit cheaper, but we don't buy them each. We each. don't buy them regularly enough no, to justify subscribing to you them. You had birthday money, so you were spending. Yes, these are just little treats. We wouldn't purchase them regularly because they are quite expensive for what they are. But this one came with a beautiful snow globe Christmas die from Tattered Lace, which is a very good make as well. And it'll cut it out, so it'll be interesting. Looks like foil, but I'm not sure. You could also possibly make a, a decoration for your Christmas tree using that. We'll keep you informed to let you know how that cut out. And it also came with a... It came with a 30 stamp and matching die. Floral set. Something we probably may not use because we do have a lot of floral stamps and dies already so if we won't use it what we, we can do is we can include it in some happy meal but we we do make flowers so another shape for a flower is always useful and i actually uh we could put it through the you could put it through the gemini mini if you only had a, a small if you manual had a small small kit so it's a good good place to get started and this is what I'm interested in, 31 Yoo Halloween paper packs. So 
Oh, da -da. I'm going straight to the paper. And what I'll do is, as this is just on magazine paper, which tears easily and isn't the best for crafting, what I would tend to do is scan this on my computer and print it out onto a heavier cardstock. Yes, because you noticed when you did your adventure card, you felt that the paper quality would yes. have been better if it, you had Sometimes this it type out. of paper warps it's depending on the warped, glue. Sometimes just from sitting in the different temperatures in shops, etc. But so cute, cute. Very, very cute. Love cats. And you could fussy cut these out if you wanted. Oh yeah, these are nice. Bats and pumpkins. More child friendly as well, which is Very good cute. if you have little little children coming. Uh, you don't want to be scaring them with some super spooky skulls. So this is more age appropriate for younger younger it is. recipients. It is. And ideas. Ideas if you were wanting to make banners and some ideas for making signs. And then they, they, they also show you what's available. From Lawn Fawn. Oh, I, I would say though that I did notice that, who was it again? Sam Calcott also has a range of Halloween cards this year, papers and some pads. So if you watch YouTube and you're interested in cards that move with movable mechanical pieces, Sam Calcott is excellent at, and it's she's designed some this year. So check that out. So not as many papers as I was expecting, but here's some examples of what you could you could make some different card folds, which is some excellent for the, the aperture 3D. cards yes. with some depth. So it's candle decorating. Great to get, as I said. And discount codes if you go and go on to purchase some of the other kits offers and really cool mixed media techniques the thinner papers are good if you're wrapping a small gift for someone or doing some origami style folding oh this looks fun this that's jessica's very d jessica marbles um always making some really really stunning and interesting 3d makes and it always amazes us how she managed to make such fantastic 3d objects so we could, with these instructions, hopefully give it a go as we don't normally make many 3D objects. So it'll be interesting to try and make our own decorations. Some ha Halloween cracker hats and Christmas. So a good mix of Christmas and... and digital stuff. Oh, is this Sam Calcott's download. range? No, I'm not sure. It's something like this that Sam Calcott's brought out that gives movement to the card. Great 3D box makes and step-by-step -step instructions. So really, really good. So, And some advertisement for other brands that you might not know about. So we really look forward to sitting down and having a good flick through these magazines, getting inspired and using the kits to get crafty. So let us know in the comment section below. Do you have these magazines? Have you made anything? Have you been featured in any of these magazines? We love to hear from you and be part of this great crafty community. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you, everyone. And until next time, happy crafting. Happy crafting. Bye for now.